I'm uh, Bunkuwa Mohamed Ayman. I'm a cyber security student in the University of Science and Technology, Huari Boumedien, Algeria. I'm also a participant of Seeds for the Future 2022. The camps that Huawei is offering are going to be very helpful for us to, to build our business model, marketing strategies and go through the, the business. Yeah, looking forward to learning a lot more of the business side of it. As an engineering student, we may not necessarily be exposed to that in our university, so I'm totally blissfully unaware to the kind of financial, business and economical aspects that go into running a company and startups like this. This is all very surprising and this experience has been a never-ending amount of surprise. Hello, I'm Jake Farrow. I'm a first year computer science student from Dublin City University in Ireland. And yes, we went to the Great Wall and it's very amazing being at one of the seven wonders of the world. Technology should unite people rather than divide them. It should connect rather than disconnect. It should promote cultures rather than demote any. It should develop rather than destroy. I would encourage you all to take full advantage of the opportunity offered by this training programme and going forward to maintain and develop the contacts and the connections that you are establishing now. You know, myself, I completed the programme three years ago and then to actually still be invited back uh, to take part in the programme again really made me feel that I'm very much connected to Huawei and to Huawei's growth and as well connected, I suppose, to the Seeds for the Future community. I can't uh, recite a moment that I felt bored or uh, did not enjoy. Everything was so interesting, so important, uh, I'm so grateful. I was jobless after I graduated. Then after the program, we're having a lot of offers here. Yeah. For all the young generations who would like to have their experience in technology, in ICT field, this is a very good platform to sharing their capabilities here. It's better to be agile, to know the market opportunities and to be able to pivot to different uh, segments, different market uh, opportunities. And truly believe that's the energy of young people that drives technology and innovation. Young people are in a high growth and learning phase of their lives. This means that they're more open to trying new technologies, welcoming new ideas. I think that young women don't have to be afraid to make their voice be heard. I think that women in tech is the future. For the moment I really realised what we were doing with Tech for Good is like working with sustainability goals to improve people's lives. I really realised I wanted to help and make a change. Just go for it. N nothing can stop you. If you want to do it, set your mind to it and you will achieve it. But ever since applying for Seeds for the Future, having all these great experiences, it's made me kind of want to look at the business side as well as the computing side. So maybe like in the future I plan to do a master's in a business field. Starting from September all the way to our sprint journey in China, it was all useful to me. It developed my entrepreneurship skills, my leadership skills. I think it's important to remember that your gender, your appearance, your ethnicity, your religion, it has absolutely no mention in your ability. If you believe that you can do it, then absolutely you can do it. There should be nothing that, that stops you in that regard.